Hey guys, how are you doing? So today I'll, I'll, I'll uh, discuss this question, uh, solution of the questions from bi-weekly context 1, uh, 101. Anyways, the first question says given two arrays of unique digits, nouns 1 and nouns 2, return the smallest number that contains at least one of the each array. Okay, so let's say 413 is one array and 57 is one array. If we sort the, these two arrays, 1, 3, 4, and f like we have to we have to take numbers from two 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 arrays, right? So our answer will at most be two digit number, right? Our 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 answer will at most be a two digit number. It can also be one digit number when when there are when there are uh, when there is a digit when there is a digit which is also in nums one and also in nums two, right? Then we can form a one digit number. Let's say three, four, five is a is a um, array and three, six is an array. So we can form a one-digit number which is three because it is contained in both the arrays. If 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 we if if there if there are no common, let's say one, three, four, and five, seven, then we sort the array, okay? And then either we take the units digit to be this and tens digit to be this, or tens digit to be this, units digit to be this, because we don't exactly know. Uh, which one is smaller and which one is larger so like it could have been five seven and one three four right so we cannot always say that this should be the unit digit the smaller one should be unit digit anyways so that is what i have done at first i have i, I have reiterated over nums once at first i have sorted both then i have taken an answer to be a very large number then i have it then i am iterating over nums one and searching in nums two if that value is present in nouns one if it is present then i am minimizing the er value and i am also minimizing it like keeping nums one's first value as the unit digit and nums two's first value as the tens digit and vice versa so that is how i solved this question this gives a complete accepted ac uh, so i hope if you like the explanation of this video if you like please share it with your friends okay then let's meet in the next uh, solution video